the bread and wine of life. Stories about Jesus dining with other people are told many times in the New Testament. In Jesus' time, dining had significant meaning. Having a meal with someone showed how close they are. And people often showed their faith through fasting or the act of not eating. Since eating or not eating was so important, Jews often observed Jesus and whom he ate with and when he fasted. So when Jesus ate with tax collectors or sinners, they'd complain and ask how Jesus could possibly hang out with such people. And at times when Jesus didn't fast when it was time to fast, they would criticize him, saying that he must like indulging in eating and drinking. But unlike other Jews, Jesus tried not to put too much significance on eating and drinking. In fact, when he saw the poor being hungry, he blessed his bread, split it and gave it to them. That's when he fed thousands with five pieces of bread and two fish. It was a true miracle indeed. The Bible verse today tells us about Jesus' Last Supper with the disciples before his crucifixion. It's the dinner that's shown in the famous painting, The Last Supper. Jews usually ate lamb during Passover, but in this meal, Jesus humbly ate bread and wine with his disciples. And this bread and wine signifies the true food and drink of eternal life that we must eat and drink. Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. After Jesus was hung on the cross, that's when the disciples realized that the bread and wine Jesus gave to them at this supper was actually his own body and blood. Jesus had given his own body and blood to everyone in this world. From the days of Jesus to the present, the meanings of meals and dining has constantly changed. However, Jesus' last supper, where he shared his own body and blood, remains unchanged. And what's remembered is the fact that this bread and wine is Jesus Christ who gave us eternal life. Mm -hmm.